November 2009, north of Mali, a 727 Boeing aircraft coming from Venezuela lands on a desert region of Sahel. The plane crashed while trying to take off and burned out completely. The plane was loaded with at least six tons of cocaine. The estimated annual value of cocaine transiting through West Africa is $1.25 billion, significantly more than the annual national budget of several countries in the region. Drug in West Africa in particular, but in Africa in general, has become a problem. Today, the drug trade jeopardizes progress through the region. Drug money undermines institutions. It can hijack fair and free elections and has become a real threat to the fragile democratic and social development of recent times. The glaring absence of treatment facilities for drug users fuel the spread of disease. HIV infection rates among injecting drug users are several times higher in countries that treat drug users as criminals rather than as patients. Most governments' reaction to simply criminalize drug use without thinking about prevention or access to treatment has therefore not just led to overcrowded jails but also worsened health and social problems. In the meantime, the powerful pulling the strings of this billion dollar trade are often too well connected to face the full force of the law. A more balanced approach will see the high level of traffickers face adequate criminal prosecution while the drug user is offered the medical attention he or she requires. By regarding drug use as a public health problem that requires the establishment of drug treatment and harm reduction facilities, West Africans could begin containing diseases and offering drug users a path back into society. Giving drug users the medical attention they require while going after the big-time dealers will require substantial political will and reforming outdated laws and policies. The solution to these things cannot be handled alone. You need the collaborative effort. The international community must share the burdens created by the rise in drug trafficking through West Africa, which is neither the main producer nor consumer of the drugs that are smuggled on to Europe and North America. The West Africa Commission on Drugs, convened by Kofi Annan and chaired by former President Olusegun Obasanjo of Nigeria, is an independent body made of a wide diversity of West Africans from the world of politics, civil society, health, security, and the judiciary and his report is a culmination of over 18 months of research and consultations. I hope that the report will really generate serious discussion and debate on this important topic. Drugs may have killed many people but I maintain that wrong governmental policies have killed many more and we need to rethink.